We are back on SportsCenter following everything from NBA free agency. And if we've learned one thing, free agency is not free. That's for sure. <laughs> Desmond Bain, according to Woj, five years, 207, max deal. Bain is indeed back in Memphis. We'll get some reaction here in just a second. Also, Tyrese Halliburton and the Pacers have agreed on a five-year deal that could be worth up to, up to, $260 million. If there's any question whether this guy was a franchise cornerstone, those are over. Once again, up to 260. More perspective on that in a second. Halliburton, literally in a class of one. If you take a look at those numbers and the Pacers hope, he will be the one to get them over the top. Max, some fresh free agent news here in the last few minutes. Interested to see what your guest has to say about it. NBA office, front office insider Bobby Marks is our guest. Now, you heard Zubin say up to $260 million for Tyrese Halliburton. What exactly does that mean? Well, there's certainly all NBA language in there. If Halliburton all, earns all NBA during the 2023-24 season, it could boost up to that 260 number. Certainly with the salary cap comes in at $149 million. The one thing, over $1.5 billion tonight in contract. There was a lot of critique about this new CBA coming in. The CBA is not broken. There's a lot of money still out there for players, and players have certainly taken advantage of it. Matter of fact, since there's still more room for the players, can we see what that looks like on the Indiana Pacers roster? Yeah, well, the Pacers, you know, they went and got Bruce Brown. That was the big thing for them this offseason here. So they had about $32 million. So the Halliburton number, I mean, look where, look where Halliburton is right now, 5.8. That's going to jump to $35 million next year. Right. He basically got a $30 million number. Now, Bruce Brown is one of the great stories. He earned a total of $15.1 million in his career. His number is all the way up to like $22.5 million. And they still have some room to go out and, and do some more shopping at $9.2 million. But yeah, Indiana today, Bruce Brown on a regular contract, Halliburton on an extension, two nice signings for them. It's questionable what their future as a playoff team would actually be, but we do know one thing, they got better on the first day of NBA free agency. All right, I want to talk about the Sixers. Yeah. Damian Lillard, who knows what's going to happen with his future. Of mm -hmm. course, he is the one oh, that's going to be in full control of it. What do you think is going to happen with Damian Lillard and his possibility of getting to be a Philadelphia 76? Well, it's interesting. So Ramona Shelburne broke today that Tyrese Maxey, who's same as Hal Burton and Bain, rookie extension eligible, they're going to pause on that. The reason why is that uh, that Maxey next year has a free agent hold, $13 million, a cap hold that is called for team salary. It gets applied to team salary. If Maxey was extended now for, let's say, $30 million per year, Philadelphia would lose $17 million in cap space. He also would likely not be traded. So he would come off the board. That would lose an asset for Philadelphia if Damian Lillard ever did become available. Could be eligible for a $200 million extension. Remember, the Sixers already lost George Niang to Cleveland and Shake Milton to the Minnesota Timberwolves. A lot of money being spent in the first day of NBA free agency. Thank goodness we have NBA front office insider Bobby Marks to break it all down. Thank you, man. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.